Hello students, welcome to Cabman Academy and today we are going to discuss about another two important cloning vectors known as bacterial artificial chromosome or BAC or P1 artificial chromosome known as PAC. So both of the cloning vectors, they have the ability to accommodate larger insert as like yeast artificial chromosome in comparison to lambda fudge, cosmit, and fastmit. Right? If we talk about their structure, so back cloning vector is constructed or derived from the plasmids. Right? And it contains replication origin known as ORI of E. coli cells of E. coli cells and contain F factor which is responsible for the formation of pilus which is responsible for the transfer of plasmid from one cell to another host cell. Right? Another important feature of the back cloning vector is that it can be maintained in a single copy number per cell right so this one is basically used for the construction of genomic libraries genomic libraries because of its larger insert capacity right or it can be used for the double stranded dna virus modifications because they are actually too large to clone into cosmids and phasmids or in plasmids right so main feature of the bacterial artificial chromosome here is that it can actually because of its large insert capacity it can basically used for the genomic dna libraries preparation or it is used for the virus modifications. Why? Because it has the large insert capability as compared to other type of cloning vectors. Right? So if we talk about P1 derived artificial chromosome, then it also again have the large capacity to accommodate the insert as like back and yak, right? And it can be easily cultured into the E. coli cells bacterial cells and this one is also used for the preparation of genomic libraries and reason here is again because it can accommodate the larger insert so basically they are used for the preparation of genomic libraries for example human and mouse right now let's talk about its structure construct structure so your vector it actually consists of two part one part is p1 which is a temperate bacteriophage temperate bacteriophage and this actually infects the bacterial cell right the property it has is that it contains abnormal lysogenic lysogenic infection cycle when i'm saying the abnormal which means apart from that integrated mostly the lysogenic bacteria what they will do they actually integrate into the chromosomal bacterial chromosomal dna right but in case of the temperate bacteriophage p1 bacteriophage this does not happen it exists there independently as a plasmid, normal plasmid, right? So it does not actually integrate into the chromosomal DNA, right? So it has the ability to actually transfer the plasmids from one cell to another cell as an independent plasmids. Or you can say by the process which is called general transduction which is later 
developed as Cree Lox recombination. Cree Lox recombination. Right? Another part of this construct of the uh, cloning vector is that bats. So it also contain part of the plasmid bacterial artificial chromosome features, which means it has the capability to clone up to 100 to 300 kilo base pair insert size, right? And this one range is less as compared to yak vector, right? Another important thing about this one is that that P1 derived artificial chromosome, it can be easily manipulated. It can be easily manipulated, right? So it can be cultured easily in the host cells, transformed into the host cells, and where we can actually make our proper libraries. So in this section, we discussed about P1 and back cloning vectors. You should know the difference in between them. So P1 actually, it contains both of the part. Farge, it contains the part of farge and it contains the part of plasmid. So it is a combination of plasmid features and farge features, right? So P1 derived vector, if we talk about P1 derived vector, it only has the capacity which is abnormal lysogenic infection cycle where it can independently exist there and can be transferred from one cell to another cell by the process known as general transduction, right? Whereas back, they only have bacterial artificial chromosome with the origin of replication and F factor for the transfer of plasmids from one cell to another cell, right? So this is